Only 20% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you enjoy my videos, make sure you subscribe. Also, I have a Twitter account where I post memes, video teasers, and much more. So make sure you follow me over there. Link is in my description. So in the last video, I managed to get my hands on every single BP that I would need for the entire wipe. And now it was day two of the wipe and the plan was to finish the base. But as I was asleep, a clan moved in to a cave nearby. And our paths were about to be crossed, where only one of us would come out on top. But I had no idea about this at the time. So, shall we begin? First order of business was to get down external TCs. A group close to me took down the heli, so I went to check it out. This was my first encounter with this clan. I didn't think anything about this and kept going about my business. But I ran into them again as I was cutting down trees. And I still didn't really care. All I lost was some wood and a hatchet. So. I started with the external TCs. This was a huge problem. I started hearing them building outside and with them being around six to eight people deep there was nothing I could do about it. Are you really gonna grief a solo player? Oh. 
I went out to look at the damage. And as I had thought, they had grieved me. Trash. How are you still hitting me, fucking? And I was mostly mad at myself. I'd made the stupid mistake by going out there with that many resources. It was reckless and I had paid the price. But now we come to the good part. Revenge. You see, even though I had made the mistake, and they only did what 99% of all Rust players would do. They... They had screwed me. So, I needed to get even. But even then, I knew even here wouldn't cut it. I knew only one of us would come out on top. I knew one of us had to go. And with me being a solo player, things didn't exactly look good for me. But I was thinking. Yes, I am only one person, but the difference between me and most other Rust players is I don't give up. So I came up with this plan. The plan was to annoy them into quitting the server. I was going to be like a small rock in their shoes. And sure, first you barely notice it, but after several hours, it will begin to eat you up from the inside out. That rock will drive you insane. It will be all you can think about. And then... You'll snap. I'm gonna do everything in my power to make this wipe of theirs fucking annoying as hell. I'm gonna do every fucking thing in the world. Beginning with just shooting fucking compound bow shots at them. Doing absolutely nothing but shooting compound bows, just wasting their fucking meds. It's not a fucking test. I don't understand what the f they're fucking done. There's just war. So, I decided what better way to annoy them than using the most annoying weapon in the game. The compound bow. Now, I knew going into it that I was going to lose almost every single fight. But this wasn't about the loot. It was about sending a message. I told them they were going to regret this. And now I was just going to show them how much they were actually going to regret it. I don't care if they keep griefing me. This space is over. Like, it wasn't like I'm gonna use any explosives to get down that that wall anyways. So, they can grief it how much they like. They went AFK, so I put a TC outside their base.
No way, I missed that headshot. I think I'm- I think I'm starting to get into their head. You're so bad. Ты, блядь, пидорас, ёбан... They went AFK again. This time I broke their large furnace. They were fighting, so I went to annoy them even more. And me stealing this LR from them was really the turning point. I was officially inside of their heads. Hey, I don't think it's gonna work. No.
You know what? I think I'm gonna go out. I don't think anyone's door can. I'm just gonna go out. That sounds like a really good idea. A raid could happen at any point, so I started preparing. You hear that? That's your gun. In my base. Выходи, Пидор, выходи, Пидор, выходи, Пидор, выходи, Пидор, выходи, Пидор! Эй, мэн, мы не говорим русский. Что они делают? Где они пытаются войти? Я пытаюсь пытаться убить моего друга. Я думаю, я буду использовать это как рейд базу. Где автотрет? Должен быть здесь где-то. There we go. To be pizda, mraz. You understand, bitch? No. Oh yeah. No, I don't. Mod HQM. Mod HQM. What's HQM? High quality metal. I decided to roam with the LR to try and get some more guns. Yeah, I had lost the LR, but luckily it was to another group close by, and not to the people who I stole it from. There's too many. Like, I kill like five and then there's another one. Like every single time without a fucking stop. And honestly, after this, I didn't see them around the area. 
Now I wasn't sure if they had quit or if they just took a break. So I had to do as much damage as I could as fast as possible. They could come back at any point. Hey man, are you baiting the turret? Yeah, give me your rock, give me your rock. Why should I give you my rock? I can sit yeah. it out. No, no, no. I'll, I'll show you. Here, give me your rock. Where? Oh. Oh, it's, it is out. Is it, is it out of ammo? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. That's the man. Oh, it's out. They're both out. Yeah. Is that the guy that... Oh, Jane, it hurts. But I never saw them again. They had most definitely quit. But then again, I didn't know if it was just for a day. So I had to come up with something extreme. So if they come on the next morning, they would quit straight away without even thinking twice. I was going to place a compound around their entire base. But for this final plan of mine, I would need a lot of wood. And cutting it normally would just take way too long. So I went to pick some berries. With these berries I could make a tea. A tea that would make cutting down trees twice as rewarding. Now ready, I went to work. Then I crafted all the wood into walls. And then it was time for the last touch. Now, I didn't put any signs or anything inside of the compound, but they would know. They would know exactly who did this and why.
but I wasn't down there. I also farmed some sulfur, smelted it, and crafted it into C4s. I used them on the thesis they had placed around my base. So even even if they come on tomorrow, they so even if they come on tomorrow and check out my base, they would see that they had done nothing to my base. And I had done all that to their base. And I am pretty sure I know the answer to my question. You know, at the beginning of all this. It's yes, I think the answer would be yes. They regret it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you subscribe and leave a like on it. Also, leave any feedback on how I can improve my videos down in the comment section. Also, you can join my Discord server for channel updates or if you just want to chat with me. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and goodbye.